Okay, but we're back with the other two. And if you said, well, how do you know? I just, the two females do look alike, but I just squeezed those two in and squeezed these two out. Anyway, look at that face. Anyway, Kristen, that's yours. I don't know if your husband or whatever can come today to pick her up, but um, he's, he left, or he said that he would or could if you couldn't get her. So anyway, oh, they're actually both laying down. Oh, hi, Gloria. Don't worry, yours are next. They're actually both laying down. Okay, so it's just honestly the same thing. And this little platform is helping. Is that the cutest thing ever? If you said, how did you get him doing it? I started really, really young. In fact, I don't know if you saw that. You probably didn't see those, Gloria. I'll go find uh, one of the old ones. But I started out like getting him to just pick up a little, like a, a, like a bow that you would put on like a Christmas package. That's how it started. God, beyond cute. He said, what about your double thing? <laughs> All right, Gloria wants to see the double. <laughs> she said, he doesn't see it. That's yours, Kim. He does now. <laughs> beyond cute. He said, why didn't he see it? Because the expectation was it was just one object, and then I would put another object down. I'm just going to get both at once. <laughs> we call that Jenga dog. It can't just be me. To me, it's unbelievable that they do this. If he said, when did you start doing this? I didn't start doing this with them until after I got crashed doing it, which is the blind deaf one. So, look, he's laying down too. So if you said all the puppies you had would have been able to do this, the only reason they didn't was because you didn't even try it? Yes, let that be a lesson to people. At least try. If I did not come to the conclusion, if you said, what did, what did you conclude? I said, if a blind deaf dog will do it, any dog will do it. He said, were you right? Yeah, I was. <laughs> if you said he's lazy, that's what you wanted, Kim. <laughs> Generally laying down isn't good. <laughs> Just for that reason, but okay, so I can start. You can start. You want to get them moving towards that platform and all these different things. But, ah! I said, like that. Was a phone. Yeah. Phone. <laughs> ah! yeah. All right, so if you said, How do you do that? You can try doing it as the default. Fault means you just kind of drop it and then they take it upon themselves to kind of. Oh, oh my God. You precious peanut! So if he says he's going to have to travel over there, yes. Oh my God! She's unbelievable! If you said, what's the difference between that and tossing it over there? There's no action of your arm. I'm just remaining seated. There's no action of my arm swinging. You little peanut! Oh my God. If you said, what's the risk? The risk is that they'll just go the other direction. But if you said, but they're subconsciously attracted to the platform, yeah. She's thought about taking off. But so 
subconsciously she was drawn back to the platform. It's, it's very, very, that's what I used to tell my friend Bill, because he said, what, I said, what have you been doing? And he said, you know, nothing or whatever. And he said, what have you been doing? And I said, you know, training every day. And he goes, well, where does the excitement come in? I said, it's very, very exciting work. It is very, very exciting work. All right, he said, get him laying down. Successful behavior. It worked. People need to say to themselves, "How much? How many times does something have to work for me before I try it again?" Me, one time. If something works one time, I'll keep trying it forever. That one time, that collar I got from Greg broke. It wouldn't work. It was just a pager. It wouldn't work. And so I took it, I smacked it in my hand, and started working again. If you said, that'll be your go-to plan from now on if one doesn't work, yes, just based on that one success, yes. If you said, what if it never worked again, would you still keep trying? Probably, probably based on the belief that it worked that one time, and I don't know why that worked, but it worked, and so that's just how human beings are. got to and it, it is like people if they were facing away this Zach George the dog never looks at him I'm just on this guy I don't know why he just bothers me such a phony baloney it would be like me starting a cooking show yeah and, and telling all y'all I know how to cook and doing all and but you knowing that that's all wrong but other stupid people saying oh that looks delicious <laughs> It's just one novice error after the next. Like three months ago or two months ago, the video was guaranteed to stop leash pulling. If you said, what was the latest video? Dragging the guy all over the place. Then he's sitting on the ground, sitting in the street, sitting, 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 all these things. You're not gonna tell people, if I went to a dog trainer and they said, sit down on the ground all the time, I, that's the opposite of what you should be doing. He said, well, it's not like his full-time job is training one dog, Kelly. Yeah, it is. And he's got everybody paying his bills for all this great dog training advice. He said, get over yourself. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> anyway, Kim, I don't know when you're ready for him, girl. I don't know if you're still in uh, South Carolina. How many houses do y'all y'all have? <laughs> She's always at this house or that house, and then she had a house in the Keys. I'm like, huh? Somehow I missed on that one. I don't know. I mean, I think that, well, yeah, I, I think when I first met you guys, that must be where you lived. Do you know this guy, girl named, um, oh, Debbie Rice Marco is her name. She's an old, longtime client of mine. She lives in Charleston. I need to check on her, see how she's doing. She got one for me years and years ago. She's just somebody that really believed in me. And she's like a very amazing person. She, um, I guess was like one of the first women to like own like a car dealership, you know, cause you know, it's kind of like a man dominated industry. Anyway, she's just like a very amazing person. <laughs> but that's where she lives in Charleston. I always think about her when somebody says Charleston. She lives like, I guess, I don't know, is there like a little area like down on the water or something? Okay, anyway, as you can see, I've got their undivided attention. It's, it's scary good training. It really is. It's scary good. When I look back at the puppies that I didn't do this with, I say to myself, the only thing holding them back was me. And that's what they tell you about life. It's, it's not what you know that's propelling you forward. It's what you don't know that's holding you back. He said, you see that all now? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I see that now. If I had not gotten the blind deaf dog and realized, you know what, a blind deaf dog can do it, that means any dog can do it. It completely changed the way I saw, I saw everything.
couldn't even figure out who won. I only got to the point that Ryan Newman got in a bad wreck. And I know that's a good friend of my friend Angie, so I'm sure she's probably very upset. Okay, that's why I'm going to leave, and I'll be back in a few minutes with your girls, Gloria. I actually got some different treats to use with them. I'm, I woke up this morning, and she said, what kind of things do you think when you wake up? I think, what am I going to use for treats today? Oh, I know, I can try the default one with this one one time. I say, what am I going to use for treats? Oh, hi, Otzi. She said, who's Otzi? He's my, on oh, hi, Sabari. Otzi's my online boyfriend. If he said, isn't he married? I know, but it's a completely innocent relationship. And Ozzy is someone that knows a lot about dogs and he believes in my work. And it means everything in the world to me, Ozzy, because I got these kooks all the time. These 20 somethings telling me, oh, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're talking about. If you said it's them that doesn't know. Oh, absolutely. If you sit there and tell these people they're awful and doing it wrong, they go berserk. <laughs> very important that that the default picking it up off the ground be theirs it's all right you guys i will be right back